are hanging out in Capitol Hill today, having dinner in Capitol Hill, getting some tacos for dinner, and then just to maybe walk around and see what Capitol Hill is like. That's a good sushi place across the street there. We're gonna have to try that place out next time. We wanted to go to the rooftop deck, but you have to make reservations and they're all booked for now. Maybe next time we'll do that. This place is popular. People are showing up. And dinner is served. And I here got a Coca-Cola. This is not just your average Coca-Cola. This is Coca-Cola from Mexico. Got a tamarind drink. Jaritos tamarind drink. Treating myself to a sugar drink today. And this is the dip. Little tacos. Hot sauce. We should each have two tacos. I wanted three, but I opted for just two. Let's see what these look like. I have to order more if this is not enough, but should be fine. And there are the cheesy tacos. Oh yeah, I think I'll be fine. This is gonna really fill me up. <laughs> it's gonna be a, a heavy dinner. Tasty, but heavy. And then chips and salsa. Chips are in there. Yeah, there's a salsa there. And there's a dip for the tacos. Mm. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. And let's give this a try. Gonna dip it in there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They're both good. I can tell you right now, I'm not, I mean, I'm glad I didn't get three of these because this is really filling. Look at how much cheese and meat is in it. Six dollars for each of these and then four dollars for that. So we each got two tacos. Take another bite. Oh yeah, that hot sauce. That's the extra hot one that I got. It's good. Let's do it again. Hot sauce. Mmm. Is spicy? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That is spicy hot sauce for sure. The place is called Froggin. There's a lot of people here. Check it out next time. Just walking around. Maybe find dessert or something. Kind of got the allergies right now, huh? Yeah, people are out and about. Not bad for a weeknight. Just walking around with my Seattle Central College. Looks like there's an artist there and I'm not sure what's going on over there. Just kind of exploring around. It's a nice evening. Quarter to seven. And I think we'll uh, cross the road and head to the other side of Broadway. We decided to come to Cal Anderson Park. We're enjoying themselves here, nice and sunny. And oh, let's sit down and just chill right here for a little bit. Nice day, wow. People are here enjoying themselves. <laughs> That's a cool dog. He's loving that rug right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go across the street and show you this 
building here that's been painted over. It used to be the most graffiti wall or building in the, in the entire city, according to me. <laughs> but it's looking very different today. Woo. Allergies are no joke. All right. It's good to see people out here enjoying themselves. Lots of people at the park today. Across this road here, across the Black Lives Matter mural, and show you the wall. So check out that wall or building, rather. They've really cleaned it up. It was just covered in graffiti before. It looked similar to that wall there, but worse. But wow. This is what things are looking like on this street. Looks like there's a guy there meditating right in the middle of the street there. Let's walk over and check this out. What's up, David Bowie? Now I'm just gonna give y'all a little bit of a walking tour of Capitol Hill. Was this a taco? Did this bring memory? Yeah. There's a story about that taco place right there <laughs> that I will not share with you all. It's a very personal story. <laughs> walking on Broadway here and then we're going to take a ride on Pike Street hopefully this will give you a glimpse into what the evening hours are like here in Capitol Hill on a weeknight look at gas gas prices is a little higher than it was a year ago or even six months ago six dollars or six dollars three dollars and sixty seven cents so that's looking east and we're actually going to head west lots of people out and about makes sense though capitol hill is a densely populated part of the city and currently I'm recording using just my internal microphone I'm, and I'm I'm using stereo the stereo setting with front and back recorder front and back microphone rather for those of you who might be interested in knowing the details and this is uh, using the EGI Osmo Pocket 2 camera. It's a live band here. Oops, sorry. It's a live band there. What's Cineholic? Huh. Huh, interesting. There's a Poke Plus across the street there. Love Poke. Lots of dogs. So cute. Some people say that um, Seattle has the most dogs of 
any city they've ever been to. Or I, actually, I read that online. Someone had made the comment, but it's a comment that I've I've heard many times. People love dogs here. And people for such a hilly city, people are into bike riding a whole lot too. That I find to be interesting. I mean, Portland. Portland is known to be the capital city, the capital bicycle city of the U.S. That I could understand because Portland is is flat. Seattle is more like San Francisco. It's very hilly. Coming up on a brewery here. Pike Motor Works. Lots of people enjoying themselves. And there is an ice cream place. Salt and straw. There's salt and straw, an ice cream place that we come to quite often. Ooh, it's not busy today. Usually this place is packed. Hmm. Corn flakes? Do you feel like ice cream? Should we do ice cream? So we decided yes for ice cream. And we're gonna order some ice cream. Alright, there is just a few people in here. But this place gets really busy. So I think I'm going to go with mm, not sure yet. Honey lavender in that waffle cone. Let's do this. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, salt and straw is one of our favorite ice cream places. We love ice cream a lot. But we also like other ice cream places and um, there's a there's a ni another ice cream place here that I sometimes or we sometimes will go to Frank and Joe's or Frank Frankie and Joe's it's a vegan what's it called me yeah. Frankie and Joe's right or yeah. something like that Amanda doesn't like it but it, I, I like it. it's vegan ice cream it's healthy um, in my opinion it's um it's actually pretty good depending on the flavor you get it's located on the other side of Broadway there's two locations one in Ballard and I live closer to Capitol Hill so that's where I go for for that when I uh, crave it usually I'm holding a coffee while giving these tours but you know sometimes you gotta change it up so ice cream it is right now Oh, here it is right here. The Korean barbecue place that we came to. Yeah, yeah. This is an outstanding Korean barbecue place, y'all. We ate here about a month ago. Wow. Really good. Oh. It's a gym. <laughs> this is what um, Capitol Hill, west of Broadway, looks like around the 7.20 p.m. mark in late April. It's about 63 degrees right now. I took a look at my, uh, on my ice cream and it felt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> ice cream. Ice cream mishap, huh? I was huh? thinking about that. I think it was salt straw. It was, mm -hmm. it was salt straw. And then they gave me another um, scoop of ice cream. Hmm. Alright, so. We're back to where we started, which was the corner of Pine and Summit. John chose churros there. And next time 
we'll have to make reservations to hang out at the rooftop deck. Highly popular place. And show you what that's like. It's fun up there. Been there before. All right, y'all. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. This is a wimpy ass peace sign, but peace. <laughs>